So I was just out here mowing and happened to see something I wanted to show you. You know, there's a few things that'll dry a yard out. One's that big ball of goodness. The heat it puts off and the wind. Yeah, some people don't think about that, but the wind will actually dry a yard out as well. Now I'm out here on my Kentucky bluegrass, the GCI turf blue heat. I was out here mowing. You can see it's looking really good, but I want you to look right here. See this blue tinted color turf? It looks a little bit darker than the green turf. It gives off a blue hue, a blue appearance. You can really see it good when you're looking into the sun. Now watch, I'm gonna keep the camera on it and we're gonna make a full 360 all the way around it. Look at it. Look at it go away. See there? Now the sun's to my back. You really can't see it all that much. And as we keep circling around and around and around, you'll see the blue begin to come back. See it right there? Why that is? Have no idea. Really don't care. But what I do care about is that turf is dry. There's obviously a little bit of a hard vein right here, and that's drying out a little bit quicker than the rest. Let's see, for reference, it is April the 28th. So a little bit before May, and my watering schedule up until now has been one day a week, about 20 minutes a zone. This is an indicator of drought stress. We haven't had any rain in a pretty good little while. I'd say a week, maybe 10 days. It's been pleasant, you know, mid 70s, but it's been really, really windy. And so I'm gonna chalk that up to the wind. I'm gonna say that the wind has caused the most of this. Now, when we get down here low to the ground, let's find a hydrated grass blade right here. And let's see if you can see this now kentucky bluegrass does have a little bit of a v shape to the leaf blade as is um, not quite fescue is a little bit different because it's more of a flat grass blade here we go here's a good one right here this one isn't actually stressed out it's more of a flat blade right here so you can see that's more of a flat grass blade and it does have a little bit of a v-shape like i said before but that's just a characteristic of blue let me back up again find the heat stress spot and we'll follow this right here here we go all right let me find the, oh there's a good one right there two grass blades side by side Let's see if we can lay them right here now look at the difference in that blade Look at how flat that is. That's actually a folded over grass blade completely. Look at that grass blade right there. You can see it. See how the blade is actually folded over? That's because it is needled. We call it needling. And what that is is when the grass blade becomes dehydrated, it gets the shape of like a straw. You can see how all that grass blade is kind of flattened out that's then folded over on itself right there well that's a absolute perfect indicator of drought stress means it needs more water here's a good characteristic of bluegrass there's an uncut leaf blade see that boat like tip on it it's got like a little pointy tip on it that's one way you can tell it's blue so that was a little more clear picture with the phone but you can see this area right here. I'm just gonna have to bump my water up. And as we walk through here now and look around, I'm not seeing any other spots, none whatsoever. Now in my fescue, so in my fescue, you're not gonna be able to see it all that great because the sun's below the trees, but I can see it and it's right there. It's right in this area right here. Matter of fact, see right at the very tip of my finger, that little bit of a darker green patch right there, where well, it's not darker green, it's just got a blue tint to it is all it is. And the fescue, let's see. All right, there's a grass blade right there. 
there's a regular flattened out grass blade that's hydrated and then oh here we go here's a good one right here you can see this tip of this fescue right here see the tip of that fescue right there Whoop, let me get my phone out you can see the tip of that fescue where it's curled up right there the bottom of the plant's flat but the top is curled now when this gets really bad the entire leaf blade will be curled like that but you can see that's just the way the fescue does and uh look at this right here huh i think i need to sharpen my mower blades right but that's the way you can tell uh, about heat stress. Now here's your another indicator. Watch my foot as I step on this grass. All right, step on that, pick my foot up. This is called the elasticity of the turf, meaning when you press the turf down, how elastic is it? Does it bounce back up and stand up? Well, if you step on it and the grass stays down laying flat, that's another indicator that it's dry. See my footprints right here? They're staying pressed down. But then let's get right over here where this is good and hydrated. So you don't see nowhere near as much footprint because the turf pops back up. All right, so I hope that helps you. And uh, you gotta get your water right. I'll link up the uh, big sprinklers in the description below. You can check those out and I'm gonna get back to mowing. Check you later. And forgot to say this, yes, I will bump my water up now from one day a week probably to like three days a week, 20 minutes a zone, and see where that leads me, and we'll see what happens.